What is good? It's your boy Sneed here, and today we got some gameplay. But not only do we have the gameplay, we got the Maurice Jones Drew gameplay. We, hey, we sold off Josh Jacobs. He was all right, but he wasn't getting the job done. We got Maurice Jones Drew, and we're gonna feed him the rock, see what he is about. But if you already haven't, I'm gonna pop that up. Enjoy the gameplay. Peace. Vegas. And this carries into the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the gun, it's Jackson. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown. And they'll take it into the end zone. For the and just like that, the first run of the game, we added jukebox and he was out of there. This is already way better than uh, my boy Josh Jacobs. I apologize for all the Josh Jacobs fans out there, but he just wasn't a good fit for the team. Situation meaning balls turned over. How's both sides gonna handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side they didn't come out ready to go. Still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like you had green on that play. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Jackson from the shotgun. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Seven yards on the play, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back. Let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. And it's intercepted. Picked off free safety Eric Berry well, to me it's pretty simple and it's fairly obvious isn't it he's got to start making better decisions with the ball that's now two interceptions in the first quarter after interception number one there was a long talk on the sideline and now he's made another mistake yeah he's just been kind of laying these passes out there he's kind of been floating them a little bit he's got to be more decisive in his reads and definitely more decisive in throwing the ball rifle it in there every now and then credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine Now a handoff here to his running back. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. 
watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you he did that very well you praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball took a great angle right there He'll rifle this one deep right side. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. Calvin Johnson, 48 yards. And the Raiders add six to their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go. Look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball. Try and get things settled down a little bit. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And that's off the mark, incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Looking to throw on second down. Jackson, the left side completion to Jones. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. the tackle has a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass they saw it coming converged on him before he could get much out of it on the option it's jackson and he'll take this one down near the 15 they do get a couple but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up but not much on that run charles no, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the deep. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get upfield and get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. From the gun, Jackson. Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. Picked off by the free. And that's GG's in the chat. Unfortunately, you guys couldn't see more in his debut, but hey, it is what it is. We're out here to get dubs, win, lose, well, Marie Shonjo or not. We're out here just to get the W. Uh, I'll show you guys the record since it was a quick video of the gameplay. I got to back up and come back in, so bear with me. But yeah, we lost three games so far. Technically only two because the first game I lagged out. It was 7-0, lagged out. It was, it, it, it is what it is. I don't know if it was him trying to DC me. But the other guy I played twice, he's, he may still be undefeated. Hold on, let me show you guys the record, 12-3. I played this dude twice last night. Uh, Let me see where he's at. This guy. So I ended up losing... This guy, he uh, he got me. He just ran around backwards, 
through delay, fade routes, perfect accuracy. Just, just play like that guy, like from last year. But hey, if that's your style, that's your style. I'm not going to knock you. If it works, it works. But if you already haven't, let's hit this real quick. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Peace.